We stay on the wide dirt path so it cuts to the corn. I've got a twin brother, Skiffy, did that yesterday. He's still out there. Ooh. If you see him, say hi. So many customers have said, hey, you know, we come here every year. We've been coming here for years. Welcome back to another episode of Step is Wallet. I'm Sarah, and this is Bryce. And we're in Donaldson, Iowa, checking out Harvestville Farm. We heard they have a bunch of fall activities today for us to check out, so let's go learn about Harvestville. My, my name is Adam Hole, and I am one of the co-owners of Harvestville Farm. I'm Julie Hole, also one of the other co-owners of Harvestville Farm and Adam's wife. It has exceeded our wildest expectations. We're in our 18th year of business. It actually started back in 1993. It was part of my FFA project in high school. At that point, it was only two rows of pumpkins about 30 feet long, and we picked whatever pumpkins we had, put them on a hay rack, set them out by the road with a jar and it was basically all on your honor system. After that, I moved away to college. My sister and my mom kind of kept up the tradition a little bit. And I think probably the most favorite part of that, and that went on through several of Adam's high school uh, years, was that people would stop year after year. And not only would they put money in the jar, but they'd leave us a little note or maybe it was a semi-driver that was going by each year and they would leave a little note. So that was how the pumpkin started and as I say, it was a family affair. And then Adam has a younger sister. When he left the farm, uh, Amber continued raising pumpkins for a bit. Then I met my wife, Julie, in college, moved to St. Louis for five years. And then after we had our son, we decided that we really no longer wanted to live in the city. Julie wanted to kind of be a stay-at-home mom for a little bit and we thought back to the pumpkins and wondered if we could really maybe turn it into a viable business. We are so excited. My son-in-law and his wife have cattle and they do what we would call the traditional farming here and Adam, my son and Julie, his wife, have created Harvestville Farm. We worked out of a tent for three years, so the buildings were not just an overnight. Our business is very customer driven. With that, when we started as fall focused and we decided to take the leap and put the barn up in 2008, people immediately asked when we were gonna add the Christmas season on, which not to say we didn't think about it, but it was like, okay, so we did that and taught ourselves all about Christmas. and and then added the spring and summer season a few years after that. Added the cafe, we have a, we have a full cafe uh, restaurant during the spring and summer because people came and wanted to stay and linger, which is wonderful. And so now we operate April through December. Fall uh, is basically our main uh, season. We typically welcome around 30,000 visitors each year to the farm. Multitudes of things to do. We have 35 acres of pumpkins, two very large play areas that total about seven acres, over 42 um, activities this year, 12 acre corn maze. We, again, we do a few fun events in the fall time. We really work hard to be authentic. We want to create educational experiences. We want to create family experiences, fun experiences. Examples would be one of the first activities that we ever had was what we call the corn pool. And this was, you know, 18 years ago. It's by far has remained the most popular for those little, little ones. The ducky races have evolved over time. That again is an older activity, but it's for the little ones, but it's a family activity. You know, you have the old hand pump and then you have the PVC pipe that takes the duck, the water down the duck and brings it back. So you have dad pumping and mom pumping on the one next and then, you know, the little ones clapping and then they get ho hoisted up and they get to do that. So, so those are a couple of the favorites here. You going through the big maze? The corn maze, uh, it, it's, it's been fun for me being the traditional farmer for most of my life. It's fun to see those traditional farm folks come and say, wow, I'm not in the fields today and I can't believe I'm going to walk through a cornfield. But they have a good time. So again, we've taken uh, an authentic piece of rural Iowa, but we've made it into a family experience and not just a work production kind of thing. 
And I think a lot of our dedicated customers that have been to us for years know how amazing our staff is. Our staff is phenomenal. We have in the fall time, we have anywhere to 40 to 50 staff just alone in the fall. It takes a lot of hands uh, to make this all works smoothly and a lot of our staff has been with us for many, many years. We would not be where we are without our dedicated staff. They are amazing and just an extension of our farm family. Back in 2019, I was asked to drive a tractor and, uh, and then in 20, they said, hey, would you come back? And uh, I said, sure, I'll come back. And that year they did not do the tractor uh, rides because the pumpkin patch was a long ways away. So they found that I could do a whole lot more and uh, kept me around. And I think, what, five years later, we're still out here on the week. I'm just a weekend guy. So come out here on the weekends and hang out and help customers and have fun. This is my sixth year. I think it has to be the pig and the pumpkins because it's you know exciting. You go out there and you get to see if you can find the biggest pumpkin out there and just the basically all the different varieties, the colors, they all have different sizes. So yeah, we just go out there and try to pick the biggest pumpkins for the customers. But coming back, no, it's really a family environment. Adam and Julie here are wonderful people. Greg and Kathy are wonderful. The staff that I work with, the coworkers, it's all wonderful. And I know I use the word wonderful a lot, but it's a great place to be. My kids like coming down. Um, my kids are actually here today helping me work, so it's great. If you have a problem, call one of those numbers. We have two teams of specially trained eight-year-olds that will come find you. These kids have not lost anybody. Then again, they've not found anybody yet. So, yeah, it's a, it's a give or take. I've been volunteering since 2012. It's just the people. I mean, the whole, everybody that works here, all the people that come through here, it's just fun. And I enjoy having fun with people. I've known Kathy and Greg since they were married and we've run around. So when they, Kathy came up with this idea, it just kept getting bigger and they decided they were gonna do a maze. And I figured I got on Saturdays and Sundays, I could do, not have, you know, just be out here. And then I retired and ended up coming out here all the time. Uh, for me, it's just the customer feedback and how much fun everyone has every year. We're now to the point where when we first opened up, we had moms with kids and now those kids are now coming back with their kids. So seeing the generations come back and explore the farm and relive their childhood memories is one of my best memories. One of our main goals as a business is to create a, a place where families can create memories and just seeing and hearing the feedback of that over the years is great. And now we're seeing it spread out over not just the fall season, but the summer season and the Christmas season as well, because families come for the flower festivals, families come for Santa. I see all the time, and this is seasonally also, families come in, at least either mom or dad, if not both mom and dad are dealing with you know kids they're getting wristbands they're doing all of this and at least one of them is on the phone texting or they have a phone call and for me of an older generation to then in 30 minutes walk out to the play areas head out by the corn maze even just running into the kitchen you see families and no phones they're talking they're shooting the hoops together they're burying each other in the corn pool. They're going through the corn maze. Uh, that's honestly, that seems silly, but that's probably my greatest joy is just seeing a family come in, feeling a little scattered, and then just melding together and having a great time. It really is a destination here at Harvestville. I think the family environment, everybody is friendly. Um, I just heard yesterday somebody comment and said, you know, this place is so clean. And uh, we take a lot of pride in what we do out here, uh, from our pumpkins to our play areas. Uh, people love the maze. So uh, talking to customers that I get to deal with, running around, uh, emptying a trash or just doing whatever I need to do, it's all about family. And families get to hang out and have fun together. And that's what really makes it special. One of our favorite things is our farm to table dinners. Julie and I are big foodies and enjoy um, visiting local restaurants and we enjoy fine dining when we have the opportunity. Back in 2012 is when we did our very first farm to table dinner and we stood about us like do you really think we can pull off fine dining in southeast Iowa? 
So the very first year we did one dinner as a fundraiser for our local Buy Fresh, Buy Local chapter. Had 40 people, was very popular. The next year we did two dinners, partnered with local culinary institutions, had their students and teachers come out. Fortunately after that, then the local um, health regulations changed. We could no longer run everything out of the farmhouse kitchen. So we had to put a hold on our dinners until we could build our cafe and have permanent restrooms. So we picked that back up in 2016, did four that year, and now we're to the point where we do 12 dinners every summer, and this past season we sold the whole entire season out in less than three hours. You know, at first it was extremely hard to find chefs to come to Donaldson, Iowa, population of 800, and put on this five-course sit-down meal, but uh, thankfully we've met some great people along the way that have helped connect us with other chefs and now we're to the point where we actually have chefs contacting us asking to be part of our Farm to Table series. Yeah, we would not be here today without our customers. Not to the, the magnitude, I don't feel like that we, that we would be. I mean, if you would ask any one of us 10 years ago, do you see us where we are now? There's no way any of us would have answered yes. Too bad our time in Harvestville has come to an end we really did enjoy all of the activities um, that they had to offer today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.